This is a little prototype of a liquid rocket engine. Um, and you can see uh, I've got the nozzle on this end and then incoming here is air. And then this is the incoming rocket fuel. Right now we're just playing with water, um, nothing dangerous, but uh, we've got 12 volts hooked up to this little water pump and it's give, uh, giving us pressure all the way up to here. The water sprays through into the combustion chamber in here. It sprays here um, and the air is coming in this direction. So as it sprays in, the air um, spreads the water, sort of splashes it and it atomizes it um, into a mist. Um, and a mist has a lot of surface area, which means the combustion rate will be higher. So that's why we have these coming in perpendicular to each other. Um, and then this is the other end here, and that'll go into supply of compressed air to really blast the water out and eventually the kerosene. So first I'll hook up the air, and we'll have flow through here, and then just flip on the switch, it'll turn on the pump um, we should get a mist, a nice mist coming out of this. This little pump here is actually just from a windshield wiper fluid um, system off of a car. And here we go. Inside of here, um, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, open this up. This nozzle is really just that. It's just a hole. It's got some threads on there um, that come into here. Uh, you can see the air inlet um, on the back. It's just an eighth inch hole there. And then on the side, this screw is actually drilled out. There's a tiny uh, 1 32nd of an inch hole in that screw, which feeds the fuel into that hole down there. And like I mentioned before, it comes through into the combustion chamber. It intersects the path of the air coming in, and that's when it turns it into a mist, it atomizes it um, to get a better burn. So we're gonna use some diesel fuel uh, for a real test now. Uh, diesel fuel is really similar to kerosene, um, which is kind of similar to uh, jet engine fuel, which is similar to RP-1 rocket fuel. So now we'll hook it up to the pump. Everything is set up. So um, for the test procedures, the first thing we're going to do is light the torch. The torch will be our ignition source. Um, after the torch is lit, we're going to hook up the air, um, which is connected to the air compressor. And then we're going to flip the switch, which will send the kerosene into our combustion chamber. Um, and then we will put the torch in front, um, which should light the um, exhaust. Um, and the flame should travel all the way back into the combustion chamber and stop there. Um, and we should get a steady stream of fire out the nozzle. We also have a built-in safety up here at the chamber. Um, you can see these tubes are actually relatively easy to take on and put off, which means if the chamber pressure gets too high to unsafe levels, uh, the tubes, um, either of them or both of them, will pop off, which means that the chamber won't have any oxygen or won't have any fuel. In either case, um, the reaction will stop, um, and uh, so that's a built-in safety. Uh, we won't be seeing a dangerous pressure. All systems are go. Let's ignite the torch. Now air hookup. And kerosene. I'm gonna add some more fuel. We reduce the air pressure. Hopefully the fire will be able to travel up into the combustion chamber now. Air in. Diesel on. Fire. I cut it off. That was amazing. So now we're going to try to increase the air pressure a little bit and see if we can get um, some flame still.
here is completely cool. Um, and you know, it's running for a good minute or so. Um, and yeah, no, no heat problems. So this is a kind of a simpler diagram of what's going on. Uh, so we've got our fuel up here, or in this case, we just used water. Um, and then there's an electric pump that pulls it through into the combustion chamber. We also have just air from the atmosphere um, coming through the compressor um, and pumping it also into the combustion chamber and out the nozzle. We don't have a beautiful bell on our nozzle, maybe in another revision, um, but it still does create a nice cone of mist um, out the nozzle. I'm sure I'll be doing a lot more playing around with this engine, uh, but those are the basics of how our rocket engine work um, and how you get off the ground.